Hey there, this is James Wilson with MTB Strength Training Systems and BikeJames.com and today I want to share an interesting exercise that you may not have thought about as a mountain biker but I think will help you out in a lot of ways both on and off the bike and that is loaded carries. Loaded carries, simply put, are picking up a weight and walking with it. And probably the most popular uh, version of this is the farmer's walk. If you've ever seen any of the old, uh, or I guess they still have them on the strongman competitions and dudes are grabbing two heavy things and walking as far as they can, that's a basic farmer's walk. So I'm gonna show you that exercise, break it down a little bit, and I'm gonna show you a couple other things that you can add into your loaded carries, a couple other variations that you can use to keep things uh, interesting. So again, you're gonna do, you can use kettlebells or dumbbells. Again, I'm demonstrating with kettlebells, but it doesn't take a lot of imagination to figure out how to do this with dumbbells. You're gonna get set. Now, posture is everything with farmer's walk. It's not just pick the weight up and walk with it as far as you can, any way you can. You really wanna be working on strengthening a specific type of posture. So in this position here, stand up before you start walking, take a deep breath. So you should be able to breathe deep into your belly and finish high up into your chest. So, and you'll see when I do that, my chest expands, my shoulders pull back and down. Right here I got long collarbones and I really wanna keep this posture. As soon as I feel this going and I start to feel this, you know, losing that long collarbone, my shoulders are creeping forward, that's when I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna keep going just because I can, you know, with bad posture. I'm really focusing on my posture. So again, I've got my weights and I'm simply gonna walk. Nice and easy. You don't gotta walk super slow. You don't wanna walk fast. You definitely don't wanna walk fast because speed will just help get you some balance. Momentum helps keep things balanced out. So nice and steady. Watching that posture, and again, you would just keep going until you felt that posture start to go. So, you can do that with two hands. You can also do it one arm at a time. And obviously holding with one arm, you're gonna have to watch that this thing isn't pulling you to the side. So, it's a little bit of a standing side plank that way. So besides holding the waist down here, you can also hold weights up in the rack position. So again, either one or two weights, getting them up, holding them up in this position here. Again, you can use dumbbells for this. And again, walking with uh, the weights up in the rack position, which is definitely harder than holding them down here. Uh, not better, just harder in different ways. One, because you're holding it in front, it's harder to keep the shoulders pulled back so you gotta make sure you're really strong with that. And two, the weight is gonna be compressing against your ribs. It's going to make it a little bit harder to breathe, uh, which again, is one of the, the training things that you get from this exercise. And then finally, you can hold weights overhead as well. So again, one or two weights overhead. And then again, you know, doing your walk with that. Now, you can also mix it up. So I could do, hold one in farmers and one in rack. I could hold one in farmers and hold and one over here. I could do one in rack, one overhead. I can do misloaded. I don't have to hold the same size weight as you saw right there. So again, there's a lot of different ways to uh, create some variety with just those three basic positions here, here, and here and then just mixing and matching weights, you know, where you're holding what side. Um, so again, have some fun with that. This is, you're gonna find that these are an interesting exercise, especially if you don't have good posture. They're really gonna force you to find how to, how to hold and maintain good, strong posture, because any, any inefficiencies in your posture, you're gonna feel very quickly. That's gonna be the first thing to go out. So getting those shoulders back and down, staying tall and thin, uh, you know, nice steady pace, all those things are really gonna help build good core strength um, and also teach you how to breathe under tension, which is an important skill for us as mountain bikers as well. So again, have fun with this, it's your next workout, grab a couple heavy weights, walk around with it. You're sure to catch a couple funny looks at the gym, but uh, that's all right. Um, so once again, it's been James Wilson with MTB Strength Training Systems. You can check me out on the web at bikejames.com. There you can sign up for my free Trail Rider Fundamentals mini course where you'll get some great skills training, strength training, and cardio training tips to help you start riding faster, longer, and with more confidence on the trail uh, today. So anyways, uh, visit me there, and I hope you enjoyed this tip, and I'll talk to you in the next one.